So I'd like to welcome everyone to Greenfield Farm, Rimmer, South Carolina, 4585 Spencer Road, home of the Black Cowboy Festival. We've been doing this will be our 23rd year, if Corona permits, if God permits us to do, and the festival. We got started back in 1997 as a way of raising um, funds for the church. And from there, in 1997, around 99, we, I learned that we had African American cowboys. So I wanted to do something to represent the African American cowboy and let um, people know, South Carolina people know, that we had black cowboys and they helped build, build the West just like anybody else. They played a part in the building of the West. One of the most famous cowboys that we had, I'm going to walk over here now to his, in front of his picture, is Bill Pickett. And he invented the bulldog and spoke. Now he calls it steel wrestling. So when I found out that and started doing the research on it, I was really excited. So I wanted to share this knowledge with America, and especially the South. And then I went on and I did more research, found out that we had even more African American cowboys. So then we started doing what we call an African American festival. Then I met a young lady one day. She said, Why don't you name it what it really is? It's about the black cowboy. I said, yes, that's what it's about. So we named it the Black Cowboy Festival. A lot of folks get upset because you're saying black, but it's, we have to distinguish what this is about because the movies, television, history, writers, they already told you about the European cowboy, but they left us out. So if I didn't do that, People wouldn't know what I'm talking about. They would think I'm still talking about uh, a white, the white guys. But I want the people to know about us. And I want the people to know that everybody is invited to share in this with us and help us celebrate. It's not about separating people. It's about bringing us together, finding out really what happened in history and recognize everybody. When I got started in this, black friends and my white friends Say, well, Mark, the white friend said, Mark, now I ain't nothing wrong with what you're doing, but you know no such thing as a black cowboy. And my black friend said, Mark, what you trying to do, be white? You know, such thing as no black cowboy. So we really liked it, that information. I wanted to bring that to the, to, the, um, to the public's eye to let them know that we did have cowboys and we had heroes. We had some of the best. They were some of the best at what they did. And that's why we keep doing it over the years, and we're still planning on keep, keep on doing it, because the people need to know the real truth of how this uh, West was built. With the festival, it opened up doors for a lot of people. All types of vendors come here, and so a lot of them are not just the food vendors and the music um, people, but you have young people who come in and want to showcase their talent, their skills. It gives them a chance to, to um, let people or somebody see that might recognize him and see that he has a skill. And we've been doing that for 23 years now, and it's all been positive and good. My wife helps me. She is my backbone. I couldn't do this without her, especially the paperwork part. And um, so, therefore, we have a team. See, we're developing a team. And each one is equal value to this for it to be successful. The festival, we have a homestead built in the back, which is a replica of how her ancestors lived. This, on this property here used to be a plantation. And her great great grandparents, her great grandparents were slaves here. And her um, grandparents were a sharecropper, and her father was a sharecropper here. He was the head guy that ran the farm. And that's how I met him, because he was also the neighborhood hot rod mechanic. And, uh, and that's how I did to meet her. And we have a replica of that in the back, and a lot of the old um, implements and equipment on how they, how they um, farm and what they use. And it's very interesting. I'm not gonna go into details with it. Uh, yes, this is a replica of my great-great-grandmother's home uh, when she lived here on what we call Greenfield Farm now, which was actually at that time, this property is a part of the uh, Spencer, the old Spencer uh, plantation. That's why the road is named Spencer Road here in Rembert. And uh, so very historical property for me and my family. 
Um, but you know, of course, when they lived here, they didn't own the land. They were slaves on this property. So this is just a replica of where she lived and grew 10 children in this home, um, which my um, great grandparents were children and were slaves here. And then, but my grandparents, of course, uh, were sharecroppers, you know, so uh, the Spencers, when they owned the property, they had cotton fields and those types of stuff. So they uh, worked those cotton fields. Then, and, and, and when my dad came along, and my, of course, uh, my um, um, mom's family as well, didn't live on this particular property, but they were from the same area. So, you know, in this area, uh, no one owned land, no black person owned land during that time. And uh, my husband and I uh, actually bought this property in 1991 when it came available. And at that time, the Rosses owned it and it went to the McLeods. And so when it came available, he was, uh, he wanted to have, it was always his dream to have a horse ranch. So uh, when the property became available, uh, we came and uh, bought it, you know, and so my dad was one of the happiest uh, people in the world when we bought it because it was very sentimental to him because this is land that he grew on, uh, never owned it, but grew up on it, you know. So it's been very sentimental to me as well. Uh, it's a peaceful piece of property. We love it. Um, you know, of course, um, like I say, uh, all of this here is just to remind us of how our four parents lived and how much they put into other people's property <laughs> at that time but it was their home it was the only home they knew and so um it's been very beneficial to us we you know because of the history it's been very uh, sentimental to us and so every year during uh, the festival time the black cowboy festival of course this whole area here we use to show people and to showcase um how she lived here and grew those children you know uh what you know just for instance like this wash pot area here um you know i have had my sister actually cooks the uh wash pot cracklings and uh make the live soap and that stuff because that's what my my great great parents did great great grandparents did because that's how they lived here so we get to showcase the things on how they lived and how they were how they sustained themselves uh, uh, on this property and any property as our ancestors would have done.